So why are the oceans liquid? Fourier speculated that the atmosphere might act as an insulator, trapping heat like the panes of glass in a greenhouse. But Fourier needed to figure it out. The Swedish physicist and chemist Svante Arrhenius provided the answer, showing that atmospheric gases are warming the surface by more than 30 degrees, thus keeping our planet above freezing. The specific gases responsible are mostly water and carbon dioxide. These transparent gases allow sunlight to reach the surface, but also absorb a significant portion of the planet's outgoing infrared heat energy, causing the atmosphere to warm. Fourier's earlier ideas and experiments led to the name greenhouse effect, even though the warming differs from that in a closed glass box. Arrhenius knew greenhouse warming was a simple and fortunate consequence of Earth's natural abundance of water and carbon dioxide. He speculated that past reductions in carbon dioxide in particular could explain the ice ages. He was the first to further speculate that future burning of fossil fuels could enhance carbon dioxide abundance and lead to global warming. The Earth's climate is more complex than Arrhenius envisioned, but his concern over people's role in changing the Earth's environment has turned out to be prescient.